Well, it could be a celebratory atmosphere tonight. Maybe. If you're a Celtic fan, you'll certainly be hoping that because Champions League football is back in Glasgow and Celtic are playing their first group stage game in five years, taking on the current holders of the trophy, Real Madrid. Let's go back to Luke Shanley, who is at Celtic Park for us. Uh, Luke, mouthwatering game for all concerned, for Ange Postacoglu, for his team, of course, and the fans. And you've been joined by a man who knows all about this fixture. David, absolutely. Only once before have Celtic and Real Madrid played competitively at Celtic Park. That was in the quarter-final of the European Cup in 1980, and Celtic won that game by two goals. Now, I'm delighted to say one of the goal scorers joins me now. George McCluskey is here at Celtic Park. George, great to see you. Firstly, back in 1980, talk us through what that night was like and that goal as well. Uh, I don't think the mindset or anything's changed for 42 years ago. Um, I still believe uh, then that nobody gave us a chance. It's a lot of the, I don't do social media. My kids do it and tell me that they're not giving Celtic a chance tonight. I mean, it's still the same thing. It was the only ones that wanted us or thought we could win was our coaches, our players, and our supporters, which is exactly the same as today. Um, every Celtic supporter hopes and thinks that Celtic have got a chance. Nobody else does. The atmosphere will be brilliant tonight. What was it like back then at Celtic Park? Well, apparently there was 70,000 in, but um, if you listen to people, there must have been 150, because everybody was at the game, you know. Um, it was electric, and at that time we had the old jungle, and uh, it, it was so intimidating for other teams. What does it mean to you to score that goal against Real Madrid? It was fantastic. Um, I still get uh, people tell me about it uh, 42 years later, you know, and as I've said for a wee while now, every time we get into the Champions League, we were drawing Barcelona. Everybody wanted uh, Real Madrid. Now we've got them, and hopefully we can give a great account of ourselves. And given that, then Celtic, great form domestically, brilliant win at the weekend. What does that do, given the step up in opposition tonight? Well, as you said, we're playing the best team in the the world, arguably. Um, they've scored 28 goals in Europe last year. Um, it's going to be very difficult uh, to keep a shot out. Uh, but they've got belief in themselves. This is a young team. Um, they've only, the manager's only been there a year. He's brought in a lot of young players. But these guys are so exciting to watch and attack. They're, I definitely think they can score tonight. I just hope they can keep it shut up at the back. Ange Postacoglu is one for, for not really changing. He wants to go and play the way he wants to do. Do you think that is compatible against Real Madrid or do you think Real Madrid might be surprised the way that Celtic approach this one tonight? I think they might be surprised. I don't think Celtic will change. I don't think Ange wants them to change. I think it's a 100 mile an hour stuff and it, it puts people on the edge and I don't care who you are in the world, you'll be intimidated by that crowd tonight. Who are the key men for Celtic then tonight? I think, obviously, uh, Jota and Abada, they're on form now. Um, I think they've been scoring goals left, right and centre. And uh, it's uh, important that they keep the pace of the game up at all times, I think, and we keep the door shut at the back. It's always great speaking to you, George, especially about that moment. But do you hope that after tonight we're speaking to another Celtic player about scoring against Real Madrid in a Celtic win? Absolutely. Uh, as I say, 42 years ago, it's too long for a Celtic player not to have scored against Real Madrid. George, great to see you. Enjoy the evening. There we go. George McCluskey did it back in 1980. Can a Celtic player do it tonight and score in a winning Celtic team against Real Madrid? We'll find out later. We absolutely will. Thank you very much indeed, Luke.